Hello, welcome to this video tutorial on the solution to what uh, to BC BC 2020 mathematics paper one. So this is the first question for the BC 2020 paper one. Simplify three over four minus one over three plus one over twelve. Now to simplify a fraction, we need to collect LCM. So LCM for the denominator is 4, 3, 12. The LCM is 12. Meaning all of them can go into 12. That is the least number that all these number can go into. So we write down the LCM and figure out how many times each of the denominator can go into, into them. So 4 will go into 12 3 times. Then we multiply the 3 by this 3. 3 will go into 12. 4 times. So multiply the 4 by 1 to get this. Then 12 will go into itself once. Multiply that 1 by 1 to get this. Now we need to multiply the numerators. So 3, 3, 9, 4, 1, 4, 1, 1, 1. Now we need to, sub we need to subtract and add. So 9 minus 4 is 5 plus 1, 6. When you simplify 6 over 12, you get 1 over 2. So the correct answer is option B. Now let us look at the 2. Given that n is a, is, is a set such that x is a factor of 18 and m is a set such that the elements are multiples of 12, find m intersection n or n intersection m. So let us first of all look for the factors of of, of of 18 so factors of 18 are 1 2 3 6 9 18 then let's now look for the multiples of 12 these are 12 24 36 and so on and so forth so the intersection of these two sets are elements that are common to both sets and we know there's no element common to the two sets therefore m intersection n is a null set so the correct answer is option D. Now let's look at the third question. Express 4,382.93 in standard form. So to express a number in standard form means that we are writing a number K times 10 exponent n k times 10 exponent n such that n is an integer and k is a number that is from 1 to 10 but it doesn't include 10 so that is what we are talking about k is less than 10. K is less than 10. So now let's let's look at the number that we are supposed to write in standard form. It is number 4382.93. So we need to move backwards so that we can reduce the number. Now we need to move backwards until the number is with, is falling within this interval. So you can see that 43 is not yet in that interval. We take back further. So we have 4.3 something, which is within this interval. Therefore, n is the number of times we move backwards, and movement backward movement is positive. So this will be positive 3 for n. Then K is the 4.38293. So the correct answer is option D. Number four, which property of arithmetic is used in A into bracket X plus Y bracket close is equal to AX plus AY. So this is the expression given to us. And 
we can see that we distributed the factor that is outside to the 10 inside therefore this is called the distributive property hence the correct answer is option c number five we have to subtract 7x minus 3 from 5 minus 3x so this must come first let me take away this so we have 5 minus 3x minus 7x minus 3 so we need to expand this is the same as negative 1 so negative 1 times 7x will give you negative 7x negative 1 times 3 will give you positive 3 then this is the same as 1 times this expression which will give us 5 minus 3x now we need to group 3 with 5 so that we have 5 plus 3 minus 3x minus 7x we can simplify this to get negative 10x and this one to give us 8 so the correct answer is 8 minus 10x the sixth question sixth question the cost of 12 notebooks is 54.84 find the cost of one notebook so it's just a division problem so we need to divide 54 0.84 by 12 so let us change this to a fraction 54.84 will give us 5484 over 100 then we change this original bar into division so divided by 12 now we can multiply by the reciprocal of 12 which is the same as 12 over 1 so when we reciprocate we get 1 over 12. So we get 5484 4 over 100 times 1 over 12. Now we can use long division to cancel this and this. Or to divide this and this to get 457. So 457 over 100 will give us 4.57. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. Number seven. Which of the following inequalities is represented on the number line? This is the number line, and we want to find the inequality that is illustrated here. The hollow bar, the, the bar that the hollow circle, uh, the circle that is open, that is not shaded. We use a less than that does not contain the equal to sign. So we can use y to represent all the numbers in this interval. So all the numbers in this interval are greater than negative 2. But they are less than or equal to 2. So we will get y is greater than negative 2 and less than or equal to 2. So the correct answer is option D. Number 8. We are to simplify 2A B squared R squared times 3A cube B. So this is the expression that we, are, we want to simplify. So you recall that this is under natural numbers or powers of natural numbers now we can expand this remember that if you have x squared means x times x therefore 2ab squared means 2ab squared times 2ab squared i mean 2ab squared all squared means 2ab squared times 2ab squared times the 3a cube b now we can multiply the constants so 3 to 6 6 to 6 to 12 then we can multiply the times or the a factors so a by a by a cube but remember that a is the same as a exponent 1 
So that will give us this expression. So we recall that when the powers are multiplying, we write down one of the base and we add the exponent. So we we'll write down one of the base, one of the a's, and add the exponent. The same thing we write down one of the b's and add the exponent. So this will give us 12 a exponent 1 plus 1 plus 3 then b exponent 2 plus 2 plus 1 and that will give us 12 a exponent 5 b exponent 5 so the correct answer is 12 a exponent 5 b exponent 5 number 9 which of the following polygons does not have a line of symmetry so a line of symmetry we know a kite is symmetrical it has a line of symmetry isosceles triangle is also symmetrical so it has a line of symmetry trapezium has no line of symmetry rhombus have two therefore the correct answer is option c Number 10. A trader sold a radio set for 72 CDs, making a profit of 8%. Find correct to the nearest Ghana CDs, the cost of the radio set. So we don't know the cost price, but we know that. To get the selling price, the, the seller calculated 8% of the cost price. So we are going to get the equation cost price times 8% of cost price is equal to the selling price. So we need to add 8% of the cost price to the cost price. Then that is the amount you sell it. But from the question, we have that the cost price, the selling price is 72. So we put 72 here. Then we calculate. So cost price plus now 8 over 100 is the same as 2 over 25. That is 4 goes here 2 times and 4 goes here 25 times. And we substitute the 72 for the selling price. Now we can multiply through by 25. So that we get 25 times cost price plus 2 times cost price is equal to 72 times 25. Now we can keep it like this without multiplying. Then when we simplify 25 and 2, we get 27. So 27 times cost price is equal to 72 times 25. The next thing we can do is to divide both sides by 27 to get 72 times 25 over 27. Then we know that 9 can go into 27 3 times. And 9 can go into 72 8 times. Then we can now multiply 8 by 25 to get 200. So the cost price is 200 over 3. But we can simplify this. We know 3 can go into 266 times remainder 2. So that will give us 66 whole number 2 over 3. Which is the same as 66 plus 0 0.67 to two decimal places. Two over three decimal zero point six 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 six. So that will give us sixty six point six seven. But to the nearest cities we will obtain sixty seven Ghana cities. Therefore the cost price is sixty seven Ghana cities. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Then also share with your colleagues if you like this video. Now, uh, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.